Engineering is all around us. In fact, it's in the things that we use in our everyday lives. In fact, I'll show you. Hey, could I have your shoe? My what? Um, your shoe? Um... Thanks. <laughs> Check out the tread on the bottom of this shoe. It's very narrow and very flat. It's designed for a sport like basketball where you need traction. You want to keep your foot from being able to slide forward, backward, side to side, but you also want agility. So you'll notice the tread does not project beyond the bottom of the shoe. That gives you the opportunity to roll your foot backward and forward and do quick movements. So when you see a tread like this, that's a basketball shoe. Let me show you another one. Now check this one out. The tread is very similar in each case, but this shoe has a feature that this shoe does not. See the concentric circle on the ball of the foot? That's designed for a shoe that requires the ability to pivot. If somebody was to pivot in a shoe, well, more like this one, this tread's actually gonna resist the pivot. This one allows the pivot, and so there's less stress placed on the knee and less stress placed on the ankle. That's different from, say, this shoe. Notice how flexible this shoe is. It's a dance shoe, and it's designed to allow the dancer's foot to bend maximally. In fact, if you look at the sole, it doesn't even extend the entire length of the shoe. This is different from another type of shoe that's much more stiff, say, a dress shoe. Look at this shoe. It's much stiffer than the dance shoe. If you walk a long way in this shoe, the fact that your foot and your toes have had to work to bend it, they're going to get tired, especially as they do this repeatedly. It's very different from the flexible dance shoe. Definitely not good for basketball. Take a look at this shoe. See how the sole projects out from the bottom? That gives you more stability. And check out this feature. See those horizontal lines? Those are actually there to make the shoe bend more easily. That way, your foot won't get as tired when you're walking repeatedly. That's how you know it's a walking shoe or a running shoe. Most people don't realize that engineering is all around them. Something as close to you as the shoes on your feet require a great deal of engineering thought and design. Put yourself in the shoes of an engineer, and you too will begin to see engineering everywhere. Uh, Ma'am, you got your shoes? Can I get my shoes?